Alchemy, the science of understanding, deconstructing, and reconstructing matter. However, it is not an all-powerful art. It is impossible to create something out of nothing. If one wishes to obtain something, something of equal value must be given. This is the law of equivalent exchange. I can't do it. I can't do it, Squidward. What? Every sentence, every paragraph, spoke bright solid pepper! Don't you understand? My brain is full to bursting! If I have to memorize a single order, I think I'm gonna explode! Hi guys, I'm God. Alchemy is one of the most confusing skills in the game. There are a ton of buttons, numbers and features that you might not know about. When you start out, there are 5 different cauldrons. 4 of these are skill cauldrons and can be found in the first tab, while the 5th is a so called liquid cauldron and can be found in the second tab. Each character that reaches the desert, either by defeating the boss or receiving a desert topaz from another character, can be assigned to a cauldron. Let's say we have 6 characters which have unlocked alchemy. We can then assign these to different cauldrons, like we do here. The liquid cauldron produces liquid, which is a very important base resource. Putting characters on the liquid cauldron will increase the production of liquid and give our characters double alchemy experience. Liquid can be spent in the second tab on various different items, like distilled water, which is an important crafting material and I recommend buying a few every single day. But the main purpose of Liquid is upgrading bonuses found in the first and third tab, which we will get to later. Thus, keep in mind, Liquid is like the lifeblood of alchemy. All bonuses can be improved at the cost of Liquid. Even the Liquid Cauldron itself. When we tap on it, we can sacrifice Liquid to receive minor upgrades to Liquid generation in the long run. Putting characters on skill cauldrons will generate points in that specific cauldron, based on your upgrades and characters' specific alchemy level. More characters produce more points. Once the skill cauldron's bar is filled up, we can then choose to either unlock a bubble or upgrade the skill cauldron itself. Bubbles are upgrades that can be infinitely enhanced at the cost of liquid and specific resources. We first have to unlock these however, and this can be done by filling up the skill cauldron's bar and rolling a dice. There are various bubbles per cauldron to unlock, there are also different types. We can make a distinction between big and small bubbles. Small bubbles are passive and apply to all characters, while big bubbles need to be equipped to a character, and a character can currently only equip a single big bubble, so he has to make a choice. The effect of these bubbles can be enhanced at the cost of liquid and other materials. The chances for unlocking a bubble however are quite low and thus we might choose to boost the cauldron itself at the cost of generated points in the skill cauldron's bar. We can boost the skill cauldron's luck, speed, cost and extra. It's most efficient to upgrade the speed as it directly impacts productivity. The other three upgrades however help greatly in improving your chances of unlocking new bubbles. If you want to unlock more bubbles, focus your points on luck and cost, but don't forget to meanwhile also improve your productivity by investing in speed. So that's step 1 and 2. We can unlock new bubbles, generate liquid and enhance bubbles based on materials and liquid. But there is also a third and fourth step. So let's start with the third. This is called vials. Some items can be put into a vial. Here's a small list of these items as of currently. We create a vial by dropping the item by the cauldron and clicking on the cauldron. A dice will roll and if we hit high enough, we unlock that specific vial in the third tab. Vials work just like bubbles. They give a passive bonus and can be upgraded with liquid and resources. Some vials offer extremely useful bonuses and it's therefore worthwhile to upgrade these with your generated liquid as well. I would advise you to unlock a ton of different files and then look into which bonuses you want to increase first. Lastly, we have the fourth tab, called Pay to Win. This is a tab where you can spend your money to upgrade every single different cauldron and some bonus effects. If you have money to spare, invest it into alchemy. It will be greatly worth it in the long run. 
For instance, we can upgrade the speed of both skill cauldrons and liquid cauldrons, or increase our alchemy experience gained. I'd recommend focusing on investing in these upgrades down here, and upgrading the capacity and productivity of the liquid cauldron. Once you have a maximum capacity of 50 in the liquid cauldron, we can buy the star book in tab 2, which offers some really nice bonuses to AFK gains. So, that's about it. I hope I was able to break this compact skill down for you guys. Alchemy can be quite confusing the first time you play around with it, but just remember, your character can produce points, points produce bubbles, bubbles give bonuses, and bonuses cost liquid to upgrade. Thank you.